welcome back on our episode of NBA 2K12. So now we en enter the 60 wins and looking to go for 61 victory against the Blazers. To go for the either side, it's gonna take kid in the playoff position. There's going to chance to see the goal king for the playoff spot. So I'm gonna skip them and go into choice. I'm gonna skip the Hornets, Kings, and T Wolves because it's trash. Now going up against the Blazers is two standings on 30 and 35. Let's check out the playoff picture on the west. See the Blazers still with the 9th place 30 and 35. Rockets lose to 30 and 36. So you see the Clippers and Jazz still fighting for the playoffs. Oh, the, the crash the game near completely. So check out it would be the last meeting for Jazz Clippers, which plays on will play March 30 and April 9. We'll get the showdown matchup between the Jazz and the Clippers, which broadcast flex on TNT. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good matchup for you. So now the duo up against the duo with the Blazers. The ABA balls are set, and let's get started. And for this game. Maddox gonna use the blue and Blazers are gonna use a Rip City shirt style. And if you join this video and we'll catch you up and we'll see you all year later for the Maddox looking go for another 61 wins of the season. And let's get started. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday night basketball. It's gonna be the Dallas Mavericks up against LaMarcus Aldridge and the Portland Trail Blazers. And with the tip-off on the way, let's go to Kevin Clark and Steve who are courtside out at the Rose Garden. Portland playing to the Blazers in a fine Western Conference battle here at the Rose Garden. Tonight, the NBA on 2K Sports is the place to be. Thanks for tuning in in the middle of your very busy week. And this is a one-and-done trip for Dallas before going back to their Mavericks fans. Well, they are on top of their game right now, and guys on top of the league, the best record in both conferences. Now, these guys haven't posed any problems for them so far. Their track record is perfect against this team this season. So today, it's a question of do they stick with what's worked for them before, or do they come at them a different way? You know, my take on that, Steve, is I don't really see any reason for them to do a whole lot differently. I mean, you got to do you. That's what the young folks say. Do you. And until what you've been doing doesn't work for you anymore, I don't see any reason not to stay with them. Now, look at Dallas. He's starting out. Tony and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Terry is out there with Devin Harris. And it's Carter in at the three. Ready for the trail blitzes. Aldridge at the four. And Oak at the five. Heinrich is out there with Elliot Williams, and it's Evans in at the three, the small forward. And here's Heinrich after Devin Harris hitting the three. Heinrich dishes to Aldridge. That's the goal. Aldridge has got his first points of the game. Man, how about the dexterity for this big guy? I mean, he is really smooth around the basket. Harris kicks to Nowitzki. Shoots it. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. He knows how to get to the basket, guys, especially when the defense is soft like it was there. And it passes to Aldridge. And a good assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. Aldridge has got his second basket of the game. Carter with three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Tell you what, there's not much he can't do out there, guys. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. I caught up with Coach Nate McMillan. Making sure they control the boards at their own end is the first thing he mentioned to me. He said nothing goes for me more than giving up second chance points. And today, we'll see, gentlemen. Great, Doris. Thank you. Not necessarily an overlooked part of the game, but rebounding can affect everything else you do. Here is outside. And Aldridge comes over to help. Harris dishes to Nowitzki. Launches a three. Another three for Dallas. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. Harris against Heinrich. Devin Harris cover. A strong finish and a pin pressure all over. Heinrich's got his first bucket of the night. Beyond the arc. 
That's good from Nowitzki. On the assist by Harris. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Heinrich outside. Odin against Chandler. Straight up. The shot's good from Odin. They continue to barrel their way inside. And this defense going to adjust. I'm asking the same question myself. He has eight points out of the last ten coming inside. You know, the defense in transition typically is trained to protect the rim and the paint first. And those are the type of open looks you can get from beyond the arc under those circumstances. Now here's Heinrich. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Gets it to go. Three points for over. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint. It <laughs> I tell you what, I bet that's the best assist we're going to see tonight. Well, he laid it up there, Steve. A pass where only his teammate could get a perfect time. I mean, that's what you need to, to make that kind of a connection. Heinrich up top, running by Harris, and that one's good. Both teams are scoring well, but there hasn't been much defensive resistance either. The Mavericks leading. They defeated the Hornets in their last game. Oh, they put the hammer down. It would be in that game. They dominated throughout. It's a rough shot over the offensive. Yeah, at that end of the court, Steve, I thought they had it pretty easy. But a lot of that came from their own hard work and the energy that they created. So timeout call here. The first for Portland coming off that win against Philadelphia. And it was just a fantastic all-around effort from this team offensively. They moved the ball, they shared it, they got good looks. And the balance, Steve, was tremendous. Catching up on the changes for Portland, Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Elliott Williams. Alex Mills in for Kirk Heinrich. And then for Dallas, Fry comes in for Chandler. And it's Howard in for Jason Terry. Mills with it. He had 13 points in the win against Philadelphia. Clock at four. Here's Aldridge. Hits a close range jumper. Aldridge has got two. They have to the vision to find the open man and get him the ball. Novinsky for three. Offensive rebound. Guarded by Odin. Let's it go from deep. And there's Devin Harris on the assist by Novinsky. Nine points for Devin Harris. That's four of the last five coming from long range. This offense is cooking. Yeah, it's rolling. Really rolling. And defensively, they kept collapsing, Steve, and leaving them open. So now they're... they're in trouble. They're in a real dilemma. Now that's two for three. Carter outside. Novitsky against Odin. And sent back by Odin. And here's Mills. Averaging 10 points per contest. And it's blocked. But they'll get another chance. Novitsky hits the two. And goes a little momentum going into the next quarter. Yeah, you know, you a uh, free fall. Sunday night, Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks go on the road to battle the Miami Heat. The NBA regular season winding down. It's the real deal. The second quarter beginning in just a moment. Here's Terry. Looking for his first bucket of the game. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. We've got Stevenson, Channing Fry out there with Chandler, then there's Howard, and it's Terry in at the point. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. 
now that we have the chance to show you the teams in the top of the NBA in steals this year. The Mavericks number one. You know, this year they've been the number one team in terms of steals. They put an awful lot of pressure on the ball handler, and they also, as a team, do a good job of jamming the passing lanes. Textbook defense is what they play. Three from Stevenson. That's good. Stevenson's got the opening field goal the second quarter for the man. Stolen by Terry. As soon as they force that turnover, they really attack the rim. I like that. Yeah, I agree with you. I thought that was the highlight of the sequence. Here's Heinrich. Right now averaging seven points a game. Now, here's a meter. And stolen by front. And yeah, nice swipe there. You can see his eyes get wide open when he saw the opportunity to take the ball. And he'll look for the three anytime he can get it, especially in transition. Lowered against Heinrich, Amina. And they get it, and a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Heinrich's got his fourth assist in this one. Terry outside. And stolen by Williams. That's such a tough catch when the ball is coming from that far away. Again, the trailblazers is good for two. Here's Terry. Averaging 12 points a game. He's picked up by Heinrich. Terry against Heinrich. Here's the trick shot. Trailblazers trail by eight. Comes up. Throws down the preparation. Nothing fair. comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And it's Mills in for Kirk Heinrich. And then for Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Fry. Carter comes in for Josh Howard. And Devin Harris subbed in for Deshaun Stevenson. Vince Carter on the wing. Three pointer. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Williams. He has seven. Terry covering. Williams gets to Mills. Devin Harris covering. Six to shoot. Kicks it out to Evans. And the Trailblazers, another three. And a three the other way. Back and forth we go. Neither side giving an inch. Harris passes to Nowitzki. And he uses both hands to jam it in. most entertaining offensive players in the league and I just can't help but saying it that way. I mean, he is. You'll get no argument here, Clark. Now, you guys are both right. I mean, he, he gives them such a reliable option at that end of the court. Here's Mills. Fires from the wing. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. from Harris. Harris has got his eighth assist here tonight. Yeah, they're finding the open man. Unselfish play. I like it. Yeah, I love it too. Teamwork and evidence there right on full display. A big percentage, the high percentage of their basket will come off assist. A different look for Portland. The Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Randall. Jody Meeks comes in for Elliott Williams. And it's Heinrich in for Patrick Mills. Shannon Fries checked in for the Mavericks. Howard comes in for Jason Terry. Levitsky with 
the steal. Mavericks leading by eight. Deflected. Coming up with the steal. For the most part, they're doing a nice job of taking care of the ball there. Howard gets called for the reach. That's his first foul. First foul. Here's Ivan. Hey, Aldridge with a screen on Harris. It's stolen by Harris. And this careless play is a big reason why they're trailing in this game. Yep. Five points given up off turnovers this quarter, Steve. Those things add up. Boy, that's a big boy's throwdown right there. I mean, how many point guards can explode to the rim like he does? He's one of the few, no question about it. I mean, he is not afraid to take it into the big trees, guys. He's a good one. He's got 16. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. With that one, boy, they got the crowd buzzing there. A pretty perfect play all around. What a fantastic. Dunk to finish it off, too. Heinrich pushes to Meeks. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. Heinrich's got six assists now in the game. Mavericks leading by nine. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And that is good. 14 points for Vince Carter. He looks good, getting it done consistently from deep. Steve, I know you love the three ball. He's been sharp, kind of like Steve Kerr used to be. Aldridge back in there. Just on the clock. Evans, good. Evans has got five points in the quarter. That's some excellent defense right there. And the first half is now in the books. Back in a moment, live from Portland. Welcome to HP at the half with the season close to its end and the playoffs just around the corner. There's no better time to focus on who's hot and who's not. For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against the Trailblazers at the Rose Garden. Great activity on the defensive end of the floor. They're forcing a ton of turnovers. For Dirk Nowitzki, it's been too easy against the Trailblazers' team. High percentage looks in the first half. Amazing work from the field. Shooting in the high 60s. That's big time bucket buying. And battling nonstop, the Portland Trailblazers. Their second unit making its impact felt offensively. They've come in ready to roll. A tremendous first half for LaMarcus Aldridge. The bucket looks about five feet wide for him. He hasn't missed one shot. Can you believe it? And now we'll look at games that won't be tipping off until later. The Celtics playing in Boston. They'll go up against the Spurs. A nice little matchup there. A 7.30 Eastern time is tip-off. And another game that's coming up, the Nuggets will face off against the Kings out in Sacramento. That gets going 7.30 Eastern. And the other game tipping off later, out in Charlotte, it'll be the Bobcats against the Bulls. That one gets started at 8 Eastern. Thanks so much for joining me at halftime. Send you back out to Kevin and the gang. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. Here's Harris. Well, we've got a moment upset the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all field up for the second half. On the court for the Trailblazers. Aldridge at the four and Oden at the five. Heinrich is out there with Elliott Williams. And it's Evans in at the three spot. 
Now these wide open threes have been there. You have to locate shooters and get a hand up. Yep, you do, Steve. And even if it means having their assigned defenders staying at home on three-point shooters, I mean, that would be a worthwhile strategy to pursue because you don't want to give good shooters open threes. And these two just going at it from deep now. So it seems like what's going on here is anything you can do, I can do better territory. And the basket by Harris. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing them. I think they've got to find a way to chase them off the three-point line. Holding against Harris. Those points were made possible by that perfect entry pass. Here's Harris. 17 points in the game. Now Levitsky. He's picked up by Heinrich. Carter outside. Over Evans. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Levitsky. 16 points for Vince Carter. Hot start for this club coming out of halftime. That's three in a row now. Oh, time by Paul by Porter. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. And they were not very strong defensively that night, guys. They just were not as strong as they normally are. They didn't play with much energy. Didn't play very hard. Well, they lacked emotion, too. And you've got to be an emotional team to play good defense. Uh, that, that helps raise your intensity. The guys are talking and engaged. And we didn't see any of that. Again, the Trailblazers three for two. That's three for four field goal shooting here in the third. So offensively, they're looking good. He's against Evans. And it's good oh, assisting on the play was Novitsky. 18 points for Vince Carter. And a blazing start to the second half. They've hit all five shots. You can't fault what he's been doing out there. Some really impressive shooting. Outside Williams. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Williams has got nine. Mavericks leading by 13. And Nowitzki backs in. Over over. That's good for Nowitzki on the assist by Harris. 24 points for Nowitzki. And here's Heinrich. Six points for him. Over Harris. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Yeah, they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Nowitzki for three. Another three for Dallas. Way too much time and space on that three. He'll make that one all the time. Well, that's a warm-up jumper, Steve, the kind that you could knock down still to this day. You're one of the best all-time three-pointers we've had in the NBA. But you've got to at least run at a guy and try to challenge and distract the shot. 127 left to play in the third. Can't get it to go. So hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley oop. Betty wishes you had one. It's stolen by Harris. By himself. Replay here. Spike Slam Cam showing it once more. Boy, that is some. Fantastic body control. I mean, that reverse isn't Set it up. nearly as easy as he made it look. Not at all. Just a tremendous play. Well, just imagine the confidence it takes him to try to win. Here's Harris. 18 points in the game. Goes up the alley oop. Very, very alley oop 20 points for Vince Carter. 
Well, I tell you what, they made the most of that opportunity, guys. Yeah, being a path to the. You're right, Clark, and, and Steve, the alley-oop was right on target. It was, and I like the gentle finish, too, Kevin, because that's not an easy play to catch and lay in the ball. Heinrich hits to Aldridge. Makes it off the glass. Aldridge has got six points in the quarter. Well, you look at the scoreboard and you realize how much he's already contributed. You really have to wonder how bad it might be if he weren't doing the job he's done so far. Here's Carter, that drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his sixth assist on the line. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Got a piece of it. Now here's Heimer. Ten points for him. Here's Williams. Williams has got 15 points. My goodness, he's knocking down everything he looks at. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. A very efficient game for him so far. Yeah, and I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here or there, but what he's really done impressively is allow the game to come to him. From the Rose Garden in Portland, Oregon, we're back in a moment. Tune in this Friday night. See Nash and the Phoenix Suns go on the road to battle the Utah Jazz. Playoff spots hang in the balance. Hoops action. Fourth quarter getting going here. It's time for our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Let's go to Doris Burke. Thank you, Kevin. Dirk Nowitzki is our Spark of the Game. He's been a major influence on the floor in this game and seems to have a hand in every big play. Let's see if he can keep it going here in the fourth period. Thanks, Doris. Uh, he has made Clark a big contribution, hasn't he? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, the biggest contribution of anybody, I think. Yeah, no question, Clark. He's been the most important player for this team. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. We've got Stevenson. Shannon's out there. And it's Bill Temple. And it's Jan Peer in the fall. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Jeff. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. Here's Stevenson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by 12. That's four straight field goals coming inside the paint. Boy, they're taking it right to him, Steve. And the defense has really been way too passive for my life. Howard, that's good. Well, I like that. They ran to the three-point line and got an uncontested look there in transition. Knocks it loose. So a couple of poor possessions now in a row, consecutive. Oh, and he slams it home. Here's the replay on the strike slam king. Come on now, I didn't see. You, can you believe? Finish. Oh, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah, all right. That was not your average typical dunk. Odin, a screen on low. And I mean, who kicks to Heinrich? It's a pass to win. That's good. Now we're getting used to seeing him hit those shots. All right. Heinrich leading by 14. That's the only Good. Wow. You give him an opening like that one, he'll take advantage. Great looking transition that time, guys. Time call here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And obviously, Coach doesn't want them giving up all these inside buckets. They do a better job of moving their feet, staying in their stance, and keeping their man in front of them. So for the Trailblazers, Lamarcus Aldridge is check in for Odin. Gibson comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. 
And it's Mills in for Elliott Williams. And then for Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Eric Dampier. And it comes in for Garrett Temple. Devin Harris subbed in for Deshaun Stevenson. Here's Randolph. Blocked. And Dallas has possession. They host the Clippers after this game. That game is the first and last of their home state. I'll tell you what, they just can't not miss out there. And the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they've been powerless to slow them down. No effect at all. And here's Mills from the arc. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three-pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start giving up three-pointers up in bunches, you're in big trouble. Just zipping the ball around the perimeter. Good advantage for them in terms of points off assists. Well, they say coaches always talk about how defenses can't keep up with the fast-moving ball. Attacking with the pass makes you much harder to defend. Mavericks leading by 15. Here's Harris. Vince Carter on the way. Carter runs it. That's good. Yes, sir. You know, when he plays well generally, the team does too, and it's exactly what we're seeing here today. Here's Mills, guarded by Harris. And Mills kicks to Aldridge. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, how about LaMarcus Aldridge in this one? 18 points and also an assist. You talk about being on? He's been it. Not even one missed shot so far. Yeah, this is superhuman stuff we're seeing right now. Pitching up on the changes for Portland. Greg Oden, he's checked in for Randall. Evans comes in for Taj Gibson. And Elliot Williams subs in for Patrick Mills. And oh, yes. That could be illegal, Kevin. And they add to this lead, trying to close this game out. I think it would take a lot. A lot of luck and maybe then some. I mean, might be time to back this thing in. And from outside, that's good. Henrich got 15 points in just the second half. Nowitzki hits for two. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. And the Mavericks lead by 16. Puts up the baby hook. And I'll reach the basket on the assist by Heinrich. Heinrich's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. To the inside. It's tipped. And stolen by Williams. The shot by Heinrich no good. Mavericks leading by 14. Nowitzki outside. Puts up a three. Another three for Dallas. Looks like this one's over. They really played well tonight. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we can take it out of the oven. This game is cooked. And Heinrich picks it to go. Well, for one, he hasn't let him down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. Heinrich against Harris. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Aldridge. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Dallas with the ball. They lead by 14. Nowitzki guarded by Heinrich. Out to Carter. He's against Odin. Goes up. And it's rejected. Here's Evans. I don't know, Clark. This looks over now. Yeah, I agree with you. This is all but over. Got a piece of Heinrich at the steal. And here are the Trailblazers. It's a 14-point game. Harris knocks it loose. Nowitzki against Evans. And Dirk Nowitzki gets the deep. Nowitzki's got 35 in the game. Now Heinrich. Aldridge backing in. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. Defense that time didn't do quite enough. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to stop him when he gets in tight. Dallas holds time up. They're winning by 15. One second left to play in the final quarter. What do you think, guys? Well, they're obviously going to win, but this timeout may be about... Oh, 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 oh,
Tyson Chandler. And that ought to do it. That should seal the deal. Yep. I agree. Closing it out with relish. Good jump up there. Off on that one. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Turk Nowitzki.
all right we're still 15 games in a row so now uh, will be the next game here inside here inside the next game so check on the view box score so 24 points for Aldrich, 22 and 12 by Kai Harich. Nowitzki got 35, Parra got 3, and Harris got 22 and 14. Our games, what's going on around the league? See the Celtics beat the Spurs, 28 points by David Lee. Garnett and Jair Smith got 22, and Pierce got 20. Parker got 25, Ginobili got 23, and 20, 12, and 8. Not fired a triple double by Duncan. Nuggets beat the Kings, 26 points by Stocky. 47 points by Jerome Green and Losses got 25. And the Bulls beat the Bobcats. 29 points by Kemba Walker. 29 points tied with Boozer and Dang. And Derrick Rose got 31. 21. I'm so sorry. Move on to March 21. Another daily games together with the Wizards, Pistons, Heat, Hawks, Cooper's Rockets, Jazz, Thunder, Bucks, T Wolves, and then it wrapping up with the Spurs, Sixers, Warriors, Magic, Raptors, Knicks. Same night games right here. We see Red Close and Energy. Pistons beat the Wizards 34 points by Butler, 23 points by William Williams, 20 points by Williams, 30 points by Borsa, and Oakford got 23. Heat beat the Hawks 28 and 10 by uh, Smith. Arenas got 22, 32, 10 by LeBron James, 24 points by Bosch. Clippers no match to the Rockets, 39 points by Martin, 23 points by Lowry, 30 points by Paul, Billups got 28. Thunder beat the Jazz and not quite that Kevin Durant got 52 points, 21 points, and by Corey McGinney and 1910 by Ross Arespo, 24 points by Al Jefferson. Bucks lose to the T Wolves, 24 points by Kevin Love, 22 points by Michael Beasley, and Jackson's got 25. Lakers beat the Grizzlies, 32 points by Kobe Bryant, 20 points by White Howard, 17 9 by Powell, and 12 10 by Ron Artest. Brandon Roy is 22. Armor beat the Sky Force, James. Actually, no, no, no. Sky Armor beat the Sky Force. Spurs beat the Sixers, 26 points by Lou Williams, 18 14 8 by Jeff Green. 25 points by Mana Ginobili. Magic beat the Warriors, 29 points by John Johnson, 20 points by Steph, 35 points by Slyon Martin, 24 points by Carmelo, and 31 points by Thomas, and 28 points by Valentinus as the Raptors on the neck. Knicks. Move on to March 22, we got the Warriors, Bobcats, Knicks, Nets, Sixers, Raptors, Pac Suns, Jazz, Pacers, Blazers, Stampede, Vipers, Hawks, Wizards, Bulls, Celtics, Kings, Harness, and Clippers, Mavericks. So we have the ESPN, the Bulls, Celtics, and Clippers, Mavericks. In real life, they got the Nets Mavericks game without flex, so there's no flex. Just like March 1, they got flex flex because of Mavericks still surging on this happening. The Nets winning is ended up winning over the Nets winning ended up win over the Mavericks on March 20. So we only have one ESPN Wednesday. So the Nets beat the Mavericks as the Mavericks didn't score four. Only has 96 points. Time to move on to Standings around the league, Heat still the first caps, Nets, Box, Bulls, Pacers, and now the Raptors fighting for over the Pacers and Knicks. And the West, as you see, Memphis, Phoenix still not yet to clinch. So the Mavericks are two, Mavericks are going to take a clinch. Thunder, Lakers, Spurs, Nuggets, and the Clippers. So two teams, only a two teams are already clinch playoff berths. Stacks league leaders as Kevin Durant remains the first. Are you kidding me again? Kevin Durant only has 34 points per game. Third number we got 32.5. League leaders, transgression reports that still are nothing. Award races are still remain. And check out the team records. Hopefully it might be the update or the end of the season. So it looks like no one up yet, so let's check out there. And let's check out the D-League standings. Wizards are still the first and Toros still holding the first place on the West against the Jam. Set check out the Toronto Raptors schedule. It might be the last game of contention, the last playoff spots. It looks like no, there's, there's no games against the Pacers. We just only three meetings. They ended up last meeting on March 7 right here. That was ended up winning. So meanwhile, we're gonna finish this up the season. We're gonna finish up uh, tomorrow. We have the back-to-back -back games we play against the Clippers and the hometown against the Heat. Sunday, we'll play twice against the Rockets. Monday, again, we have the North School. We'll play against the Magic. Skipping to the Bobcats and we'll play against the Grizzlies on Tuesday. Wednesday against the Nuggets. Skip on the Hornets. Thursday against the Lakers. No games against the Clippers because playing basketball. And then we'll move to Saturday. Clippers and Thunder. 
Center and finish off the season against the Rockets before wrapping up of the 2012-2013 season. So I'm gonna say fouls now when I end the stream right there. We win easy against the Blaze, the Trail Blazers. So that should do it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. As the NBA schedule release are finally come out. So here's the NBA schedule release. For the tip off 2024, we got the Knicks, so that's Timberwolves, Lakers on October 22. October 23, we got the Bucks, Sixers, Suns, Clippers. 24 with the Spurs, Mavericks, Thunder, Nuggets. 25 with the Pacers, Knicks, Suns, Lakers, and NBA TV triple header with the Clippers, Nuggets, Magic Grizzlies, and Kings, Lakers on Saturday. Christmas, we on ESPN2 with Spurs, Knicks, and Nuggets, Suns, and the triple header on ABC with the T Wolves, Mavericks, Sixers, Celtics, and Lakers, Warriors. MLK Day with the NBA TV, the Mavericks Hornets, and TNT with the Timberwolves, Grizzlies, and Celtics Warriors. Rivals Week with the Knicks, Nets, and Sixers, Nuggets, your Warriors 21. Your Warriors 22, T Wolves, Mavericks again against the Nelson Warriors teams. 23 is not the rivalry. Heat Bucks somehow, it's not the rivalry. Celtics Lakers, the oldest rivalry. 24 NBA TV, the Pelicans, Grizzlies, and 25 with the Nuggets, T Wolves, Celtics, Mavericks, and the final three match and another LeBron and Curry of the Lakers Warriors. So that should do it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. We'll see you t tomorrow. Double header up against the Clippers or any Heat. So that should do it. We'll see you in the next video. Sign up and peace out. Good night.